All right, what's up, YouTubers? Structure free learning in the house. All right, so we're back, and this time I'm gonna do some dynamics and finally give you this acceleration analysis example. Uh, I got here this uh, rod, it's a rigid rod AB over here, and it's point A is moving in this circular slot here and on a circular path, and point B is a slider that moves horizontally here. And what we know about this is, uh, uh, is that the acceleration of this point B is 3 feet per second squared and the velocity is 5 feet per second. And what we want to find is the acceleration of A, okay? The acceleration of point A, and we want to describe the vector. So that means two things, the direction and the magnitude. So let's get it on. All right. So the first thing that you want to do or that we want to do is... Draw the schematic for the acceleration analysis. Schematic for the relative acceleration equation, essentially. Okay, so here I, I'm interested in this rigid rod AB. So let me scroll down a little bit and, and I'm going to draw my equation. And so if you've seen that video that I had before on explaining acceleration analysis during what is a review session of some kind that I gave a long time ago. This is the example problem. So here is this rigid rod AB again. And here I'll call this point A. Here's this point B right here, okay? And this is my rigid body. I, I know I have acceleration at two points that I'm interested in. I'm gonna have the acceleration of another, the trans, so I have this plane motion essentially, and I'm breaking it up into translation and rotation this is this will be a rotation drawing over here they all hopefully look somewhat parallel right there okay i know the acceleration at a and the velocity at i'm sorry the acceleration at b and the velocity at b i, I also know the direction so here i know the acceleration of b which is three feet per second squared I also know that this angle right here, even though I didn't draw it exactly correctly, is 30 degrees there. And I know point A moves on a circular path. Now, I don't know necessarily what direction the acceleration of point A is, but I do know that if I break it up into normal and tangential components of point A, I know that I'll have a component the normal component pointing towards the center of curvature, so the acceleration of A towards N, and then I'll have a tangential component that's tangent to its path. So it's all a little bit off, which is no good. Not my style, but right here in this tangential component of A, 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 T. And for T, I don't really know if it's going up or down, but my sense is that, that because the velocity of B is to the right, when it's accelerating uh, to the right, I, I have a feeling that this point is going to be moving or accelerating, you know, generally downwards it, along that circular path. So that that tangential component is uh, is downwards. That's my sense. I don't know for sure, and I'll verify that through my equations. Okay. So there's my acceleration of t. So things I don't know. I don't know the magnitude of this. I don't know the magnitude of this. Uh, let's see. But I know the magnitude of that acceleration. And one of the things that we have to do, so this was uh, this was what we call plane motion. And then we break this up into a translation plus a rotation, okay? And so this translation, I like to apply the acceleration I do know. So this is a rigid body translation or rigid body acceleration. So every point on my rigid body experiences the acceleration that I assign it. And in this case, I'm gonna choose acceleration B. So here, A, B equal to three feet per second squared. And here, this point A also experiences the same acceleration of three feet per second squared. So my body here is this translation. So that's one part. And I'll put a vector sign here because I know the direction and magnitude. And then I, what I want to do is because I translated according to point B, I'm going to fix point B here. Fixed it. This is fixed B. And I'm going to apply the angular velocity, omega b a and an angular acceleration angular acceleration b a okay here and i chose these directions uh 
I could have chosen, I just chose them. I could have chosen the other way, okay? So I chose counterclockwise because it, it feels positive, right? Well, it is, or the thumb's coming out of the point, out of the page right here. And so, you know, it's, that's fine, okay? And But according to these acceler this angular acceleration and angular velocity that I've chosen, I have uh, specific components of the relative acceleration of point A. So this is still point A with respect to point B. So here I have the tangential component of this because when I fix it here, this thing is essentially rotating about point B. This is the acceleration of A with respect to B and this is its tangential component. And then here I have the acceleration of A with respect to B, its normal component. Okay, so that's that's done, and I know that this angle here is still this angle is still thirty degrees, although ah doesn't look like it. And this is thirty, and this would be because this is ninety. This is going to be sixty degrees, sixty. Okay, all right. So I have I have essentially I've, I've kind of figured out all the stuff that I do know, and now I'm ready to take this. And, and write the relative acceleration. So within this step, I want to write the relative acceleration equation. Okay, I want to write the relative acceleration equation. So first, in its in its all its greatness, in the way that I've set up this drawing here, I have my unknown, which is the acceleration of A, is equal to the translation, the acceleration of B, plus the acceleration of A with respect to B. Okay. And, and there, that's that's fantastic. Now, what's more, this vector equation is broken up into its normal and tangential vector equation. So here, I have a is broken up into n and t. So I have a a n plus a a t is equal to well, a b is just trans. It's only one direction, so I can just keep that as a b. And then this right here, this a a b, the 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 acceleration of a with respect to b, is the normal component plus the tangential component, AABT. With that being said, I know that AAB, the definition of this normal component here, so AAB of N, the definite the magnitude of this is just omega BA squared times the distance or the length of the arm RA with respect to B. Okay? And then that makes AABT, AABT, the tangential component, is defined in, in, a, you know, in a rotating body as alpha, the angular acceleration BA, times RAB. So these are the magnitudes of this normal and tangential relative acceleration of A, a with respect to B. Okay, of A with respect to B. And now I, I can plug that in and, and use my, no, you know, I can use my knowledge of of the directions of these right here and uh, break it up into horizontal and vertical components, okay? So here, now I wanna sum it up, put it in a scalar equation, and I'll say, okay, let me look at all the I hat components, or, you know, this is the same as summing forces in the X or some horizontal direction. So it does, here, I, you know, you don't even have to call it I, just say, you know, in the horizontal direction, all my components here, I can figure this out, let's see here, A, A, in terms of here, I you know I know because I'm a circular path, AAN is horizontal, AAT is vertical, so I feel pretty confident about the general directions right here. So here in the horizontal components, I have AAN is equal to AB because this is also horizontal plus uh, omega AB, the normal component RAB cosine of 30 degrees minus the tangential component, which is alpha BA times RAB cosine of 60 degrees. And notice the negative sign because of the way I've drawn it and I said positive is to the right. And then in the J direction, you know, I don't have to call it the J, but here in the vertical direction right here, I would have AA negative AAT because of the way I drew it, I drew AAT going downwards, is equal to, I have no vertical component of the B acceleration, so zero, plus 
omega a b squared r a b sine of 30 degrees minus alpha b a r a b sine of 60 degrees and i already made an itty bitty mistake right here this should be negative thank you because a a b n is pointing downwards okay and i said positive is upwards. so here with all my sign conventions right here looking at this i have everything that i have and so let's let's take a look here at what i know and what i don't know i know let's see i know a b i know this magnitude that's three feet per second squared i know r a b's i know cosine 30 cosine 60 because i have the calculator and i know the unit circle blah 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 and but i don't know a a n i don't know the angular velocity I don't know the angular acceleration of BA, so here these are, and I don't know, oh, the tangential component here, I'll draw like a trapezoid, shoot, so bam, okay, gosh, I've got, I've got four unknowns and two equations, ugh, all right, so I need some more equations, so we'll, that those equations are going to come from a velocity analysis, which I'm doing in part two. Okay, so I'll see you in part two.